Hi guys! Today they launched the biggest patch ever to Beast of Bermuda. A lot of changes. For example, they migrated from Unreal Engine version 4.18 to 4.21. That should help a lot uh, with their crash issues and all that. And there is a lot of new content, like uh, they reworked Forest Island and Andrestial Plains and added new map Rival Shores. I'm gonna check all these maps, starting with Forest Island and I'm freaking sliding. Alrighty then. And as you can see, this is one of the new things. Uh, things that you can interact with are highlighted. So yeah, that, that should help with the gameplay, you know. And uh, that's... One of the new things, and as you can see, there's a lot of changes in the maps. But yeah, let's go through the bats notes. I'm not gonna go through all of them, you can check them out yourself. But let's go through a few of them. Like the changes in the islands, and players can now fight back when grabbed by Mosa. That's one of the biggest changes. So you can actually fight back when Mosa grabs you. And there's also live birth for marines like Grono, Mosa and Elasmo. So you don't have to make a nest. Like <sighs> previously you had to make a nest but you had to make sure that it's not underwater. So the eggs won't freaking drown. So yeah, that's gonna change a lot of things in marine nesting. And I'm very hap happy about that. There is new hints and interaction systems that is work in progress, so expect some bugs and glitches now and then. Added new server config variable, global carcass spawn rate modifier, so it multiplies uh, how frequently the small randomly generated carcasses spawn and so there should be maybe more spawns? I don't know. Uh, there is a lot of changes in general and network and of course lots and lots of bug fixes and balance changes, cre uh, creature adjustments and news in development. Due to issues with previous animator, we have hired a new animator to help get the creatures done and slash or reworked in terms of animations. The Baki Cephalosaurus is the first on the list. Yay! I can't wait to see a Paki. We really need more herbies because there is only three herbivores and there is uh, yeah, three marines, all carnivores, and five carnivores, rex, mega, acro, velo, icti. Yeah. So yeah, we really need more herbivores, definitely. They also made changes to the good baron talent. When taken by the male, now grants a chance to generate two or more eggs per season of mating. The chances of getting more and better inherits are higher than they were before. Which is great. I love nesting in Beasts of Bermuda. I love being nested in because you get so many inherits compared to being spawn it in creature and I gladly nest my uh, own babies to make the bloodline even strong and stronger and better they have really changed this map there's um, way more trees oh and crystals and a lot of cave. We call that lot of cave. Um, yeah, it looks good. 
Uh, next I'm gonna check out the ancestral plains after I have checked this map. Oh, they really love archways! <laughs> There's like shit ton of archways in this map now. Holy moly. But yeah, I'm gonna check the ancestral plains next. Uh, I'm gonna probably speed it up a little bit because it's way bigger. And there should be like a new jungle biome on ancestral plains. And this is new too here. As you can see, there's a. So I'm gonna ruin. Don't mind me, I'm just feeling my stats. One of the things you can do in your own hosted server, by the way, if you're checking out the maps on Terra, you can fill up your stats by uh, using the uh, command. It's the key above the tab key. I don't know what to call it. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you press that and then you just put fill and that's pretty much it. But yeah, this looks good. Forest Island looks good. I love it. I wonder mm, how is the swamp, by the way. Like previously there has been a lot of a lot of problems in the swamp area with invisible walls that are like three hitboxes you get stuck in the swamp and it's really hard to uh, navigate out of there if you <laughs> if you're hitting invisible walls so so yeah hopefully it has changed i'm not gonna go and check it out i'm not gonna land and see if there's invisible walls the only way is is to go in the server with th this map and check it out later on or maybe if I have time and check it out on myself later on on hosted, my own hosted server but yeah uh, this is uh, this is enough about the for uh, forest island let's go the ancestral plains shall we okay here we are Let's check out the reworked ancestral plains. I'm gonna speed it up just a tad so I have more time to check it out. Uh, check out the new map, Rival Shores. So yeah, guys, enjoy.
And now we have checked the terrestrial planes. Those who have played in this map probably noticed the changes pretty quickly. And I have to say it looks pretty damn good. A lot of changes in the map. But yeah, let's hop into the rival shore. Here we are now, in the new map Rival Shores. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice waterfall. I like it. Really cool. Looking good. There should be different islands on this map and they have kind of like different biomes in them. So yeah, let's check it out. Let's enjoy some music and I'm gonna a little bit speed it up for you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> The new map looks pretty damn good. 
There's a uh, like forest, swamp, kind of like savanna or desert. And then there's uh, this island in the middle that has a cave. And I kind of want to check out the cave. It's probably most likely same as other caves with something in it. Hopefully it's not too complex. Like in Ancestral Plains, uh, the cave systems are very, very complex. I get easily uh, lost in the tunnel systems. Looks good. I like it. It's really big. It's one of the biggest caves I have seen. Or maybe because I'm on just a small terra, it seems very big. But what do you guys think about the new map? Uh, tell me in the comment section below. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Just gonna fill my stats again. I really like this new map. It looks really good. Different island systems. That's good. Everything has like its own biome. Ooh, crystal cave. Hell yeah, there's two kinds of crystals. Red and blue ones. Nice. Looking pretty damn good. I really love this new patch. And finally, I'm not sliding, I'm actually walking. I think it's when you spawn in as a terrorite. It kind of bugs out and you're sliding first. But next time you land, you're walking normally. Uh, just a minor things in early access. Something to expect. It's alright. So maybe in next batch we're gonna get some new dinos like Paki. Uh, maybe they finally do their rework for Terra. I have been waiting that for a long ass time. Anyways, uh, here is the map of the new map. Next I'm gonna hop in the waters of Bermuda server. They have this new map and I'm gonna play a little bit. So yeah, see you soon. Alright, here we are. I finally got my skin done. It took me a while. Kinda look like one of my purses. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, Waters of Bermuda changed it from Forest Island to Rival Shores. So, obviously, the server wiped and I lost my loader, Appa, and Mega. But it's alright. I gladly start all over. Guess comfort, yeah. Food and water longevity and that. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't really plan on playing this loader. This loader is just uh, for me to get to my friends uh, and hopefully later on when they have grown. I'm gonna be nested in, so this uh, loader is gonna be a sacrifice for some nice Mosauer Chrono. So yeah. Mm. Let's see who we have here. There should be Miles and Booba here, I think. Hey! 
Yeah, there we go. Mars is here. I knew, I knew she would, uh, she would be here. Anywho, yeah, guys, I know I asked it in one of my Bob videos, uh, mini migration and rescue mission, uh, the Apato survival video. I'm gonna link that to the corner there, and. I had a poll on that video where I asked what dino I should play as next and most of you guys wanted to see Para. So don't you worry guys, next Beast of Bermuda video is gonna be Para video. It's gonna be interesting to play as a Para in here, in this new map and yeah I'm gonna Definitely do that. And I I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm just uh, starting as a loader right now. Because this video is mostly about the maps and changes in the game. It's it's not like a legit gameplay video, it's more of a showcase video. Uh, so yeah, the next video is gonna be complete survival gameplay as a para, as you guys wanted. <laughs> but yeah, um, hmm. I have no clue where I am. <laughs> Apparently, you can't invite people unless they're closer to you. So, for example, right now, my friends are most likely very far from me, so they can't invite me to a group. I have to be closer so they can be able to invite me. It's kind of annoying. Because I have no clue where to go. No clue whatsoever. Oh, Apacho. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna take some flowers with me. There we go. And I dropped them by accident. So, right. Hmm. They didn't let me to pick that up. Hmm. Uh, oh well. I'm gonna continue my way. Uh, I'm on the, I think, outer shores. So I have to go a little bit more inland or over that side where the apato is going because i want to go towards uh, the middle middle-ish the little apato roars they're so cute hello <laughs> oi don't you tree roar at me I'm a herbivore Alrighty then. Well, I'm gonna continue my own way. I think I'm going to the right direction. Hopefully. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now I'm close enough. 
Oh, there they are! All of the lurders are on this uh, middle island. <laughs> Listen to that! Oh my god! I love it! <laughs> oh, they're all coming to greet me! Aww! Can't wait to see all the skins! Oh, look at my go! <laughs> I'm coming with my flowers. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Mars! Are you alright? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Every time with you! Oh, I love that skin. Bumblebee. Oh, everybody is greeting me and I can't roar because I have flowers. There's Booba. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh my god, they look so cute. Hello. I'm finally here. Thanks to the map. <laughs> I wasn't sure where I was, but apparently I was on land bridge between forest and swamp islands. And thank you, yes, it's a pretty good skin if I do say so myself. Even though I did take a reference from real life. <laughs> well, it's not exactly like the first, but close. <laughs> Aww, load of snuggle pile. Nice. I like this. Very nice. Now I can drop my flowers that I carried here from the forest island. I did spawn on the forest island. When I look in the map, I realized that I spawn in the forest island. Yes, the flowers, yeah. It, it, it's the island with the waterfall, by the way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There, there is uh, crystals. In the cave, this is uh, this is the middle island that I showed you with my Terra. Yeah, definitely, this is our cave now. It's really pretty. I can't wait to check out the other islands when I'm playing as a para. I'm gonna I'm gonna do speed para. So I can cover more ground. Don't mind me, I'm just randomly roaring. <laughs> it's not like I accidentally pressed one. Shh. I never accidentally press any key points, I swear. <laughs> I, I kind of wanna do speed loader. Well, it depends what kind of inherits I'm gonna get when I'm when I'm gonna get nested in. But yeah, I'm gonna most likely sacrifice this loader when I get egg. From Boba and Mice. I'm gonna transfer this skin to the new nested in the loader because I really liked it. Unless I get like really strange mutated skin, I love those. Like the albino loader I had. 
I really love that that one. I have that also saved. I have the albino skin saved. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep this skin when I get nested in? Or should I take whatever skin I get from Booba and Mars when I hatch? Tell me in the comment section below. Which one would be better? Their skins are kinda same, just different colors, so yeah. So it's gonna be like mix or either one. I don't know. Anyways, this is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. And... Bye bye.